progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. Don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results. Not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me, our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. was trying to improve the actuator's granularity. Super smooth response. See if we can tune the prosthetic's grip force. better. Should avoid bone-crushing handshakes, at least. Was your research assistant late today? What sort of staff are you employing with our money, Doctor? I'll ask you to leave Peter out of this, please. He's young, still learning, but he's indispensable. A genius in the making. Wow. Thanks, Dr. Octavius. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way?